and the new week is beginning and it's time to receive guidance from our angels once again. Today the guidance is for the week of the 28th of May through the 3rd of June 2018. Keep watching, the angels are coming up with wonderful messages for us. Hello beautiful soul, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria, it's a pleasure to have you here with me once again. If this is your first time here, I invite you to go to the subscribe button below so you will always get notifications whenever I post a new video here in my channel. Today we're receiving angel guidance for the week of the 28th of May through the 3rd of June. We are already in the middle of the year, it's going very fast. And always, the angels are with us to give us wonderful and loving guidance. So for this week, we'll be using uh, the deck Messages from Your Angels. This is by Doreen Virtue. We have 44 cards in this deck. It's a very beautiful deck, very easy to work with. I got the cards already here. So if this is your first time here with me or not, I invite you to close your eyes just for a few seconds and let's connect with our angels and ask them for their love, for their light, ask them to come forward, touch our hearts and speak through these cards, giving us the right messages, bringing us some light for this wonderful week. So let's get the card for, uh, for Monday and Tuesday first. Let me keep shuffling. Oh, it's here. We got three cards. Strong, beautiful. So we have first Serena. Serena says, I'm the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how it will happen. Have faith. Wonderful. Very beautiful message actually to start our week, bringing us abundance. So what the angels wanted to understand, my dear, is that the money you want will be coming to you as long as you trust, as long as you believe it's possible, as long as you place the intention of receiving the money and simply allowing the universe and allowing your angels to step forward and bring this to you in whatever way it is possible. Don't be attached on how you will get the money. Be attached on simply knowing that you want, trusting that it's gonna come in whatever way, like I told you. Wonderful, wonderful message, abundance. Abundance in every area of our life. Not only money, but in health, in friendship, in family, in love. Remember, that's what the angels want for us. They want abundance. This is what we are. We are already abundance. That's what they want us to understand. So know and trust that it is already part of you receiving the money you want, receiving all the abundance, all the beautiful things you want for your life. It is already part of your path. Simply allow the angels to bring this to you. Don't put your expectations. Don't tell them how to get there. Simply tell them what you want and they will bring it to you in the best way possible, which sometimes is different from what we actually want, from what we actually think is the best. They know it better. They will bring it to us in the easiest and most convenient way. Okay, my dear, let's move on. Monday and Tuesday, still we have Desiree. And it says, no, conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels for help, guidance and comfort. Beautiful. So what Desiree is talking about is any big decisions to be made. They want you to understand that if there are things you want to change in your life, wait a little bit longer, breathe first. Don't choose anything by being in doubt, by not being sure. How you will be sure? When you listen to your heart. Your heart will always guide you to the best outcome, to what you truly deserve, to what you truly want. But you have to breathe and clear your mind from all this ego talk telling you, don't choose this, wait, go there, don't do this now. And, and all these things, wait, breathe. <laughs> they wanted to understand. It is important to take action. It is important to choose. 
but in the energy you are right now it's the best is for you to wait and breathe and be clear of what you want be clear of your plans be clear of what exactly your heart is asking you and the answer will come don't don't uh, doubt it know that the answer will come as long as you trust and stay calm sometimes we want things to be you know working fast now in this moment but there is a right time and the angels will bring it to you so breathe my dear stay calm wait because it's gonna come for you everything you're asking for is gonna come but you have to be clear you have to be 100 sure of where you want to get and and like i told you the more you breathe the calmer you you stay the easier you will understand how to get there and which way to go okay and and continuing for monday and tuesday we have merlina and it says you are uh, again Pay attention. You are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. Wonderful. I love it when they just um, bring the cards to confirm the message, to confirm what they are telling me. Again, wait, look for more advice, go deeper into understanding the options you have try to go to get different opinions try to research more if you're not sure do not make any decisions yet because you might regret although they always say there is no wrong decision but you you, you might choose the harder one <laughs> you might choose the one that is going to be a little bit more confused so breathe first stay calm research more get clear about the options about what you're planning to do and then you will know what's best for you then you will know which way to go and what decisions to make okay my dear let's move forward let's get a card now for wednesday and thursday i'm gonna shuffle we already got three cards oh there you go it's here then we got one now Actually, some felt, but it's a lot of them. So it's just one that stayed here. That's the one we need. So we got Ariel. It says, new psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer and meditation. So my dear, if you're watching this video, it, it already means that you are already stepping into, in a, uh, into opening your awareness, into raising your vibration. And this is what the angels want you to understand. If you are already going through this, it is very positive. It is going to bring you answers. It is going to help you on your choices like they were talking before. It's going to help you to make your decisions. Meditation is so important try to start your spiritual path or to continue on your spiritual growth through meditation it's a powerful tool and we all have it it's just a matter of giving yourself a few minutes to breathe when you breathe you're meditating and when you meditate when you're breathing you're clearing your mind you're connecting with your heart and you're receiving your answers so understand, the more you meditate, the deeper you go into your spiritual awakening, into your awareness, into raising your vibration, the more your psychic abilities will start to open to help you in your life. You will start to understand the messages you're receiving. You will start to listen, finally, listen to your intuition, listen to what the angels are communicating with you. So try to meditate. Again, they are using the word study in this card. Study more, go deeper into your knowledge. This is gonna help you again. This is gonna help you to make the right decisions. This is gonna bring you to the right path. So listen to this call you're receiving in going and walking towards the light, in walking towards finding yourself again, because this is gonna bring you the answers okay moving on weekend now let's get the cards friday saturday and sunday 
Let's see what the angels want for us uh, for this weekend. It's a beautiful, it's a very uh, full of energy week because we have the full moon and all this. The card is falling as always. I'm gonna have to excuse myself just to get the card. <laughs> All right, <laughs> here it is. We have Archangel Raphael, I love it. If you're watching me for a while, you know I have a very, very good connection with Raphael. I was working with him today. This week, we're actually working with him on Instagram the whole week, receiving healing messages from him. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you can always go there. I'll leave the link in the description. Anyways, for the weekend, Raphael says, I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. Wonderful. So Raphael is talking about the importance of understanding that all of us are healers. We have within us the power to heal ourselves. And that's what he's telling you. You are as good healer as he is. Of course, he can always help, like he does for me. <laughs> He's always working with me. But the, the work that he does is just actually tapping into our heart to remind us that we can heal, to, to actually uh, turn on that button of healing within us. And this is what he wants you to understand. Call upon Raphael if there's anything you need to heal right now, any pain, any sickness, anything you want to heal, physical, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, anything you would like to be healed, call upon Raphael. He's wonderful. He's a good friend. He's a good healer. He's God's healer. He brings the light to you to heal you. So call upon him whenever you need healing and whenever you're giving healing also, if you are a healer, literally an energy worker, energy healer, call upon him also to work with you. He will make wonders. He will amplify your healing energy. So bring Raphael more to your life to heal even, uh, sorry, he's telling me now to talk a little bit about uh, diet, okay, to talk a little bit about health. So healing is not only about healing what is wrong, healing what is, where the problem is, but healing is also doing, uh, bringing the light towards keeping you healthy. So he's also asking you for the weekend to care more for your health. Make this uh, decision this weekend to choose healthier options. Make this choice for yourself. Choose yourself this weekend. Exercise a little bit more if you want. Choose healthier, like I told you. You know, detox a little bit, drink more tea. That's gonna detox you. Drink lots of water to recharge you, to cleanse you. And this is what Raphael wants. The healthier you are, the more you take care of yourself, the more connected you are with source with your angels and with your higher self. Okay, my dear. So this was our angel guidance for this wonderful week. I wanna thank you for staying with me, for being here with me. Again, if you haven't subscribed, remember to go in the button and click so you will be, you will be notified whenever there is a new video. I wish you a wonderful week. Like I told you, you can always go to my Instagram or my Facebook or Twitter. I post daily guidance there from the angels and also Reiki healing if you're interested. I will talk to you very soon again. Have a beautiful week, wonderful week. Blessed with your angels by your side, walking right next to you every step during this week. Stay in the light and take good care of yourself. Namaste.